A stunning story from the world of technology for you now, but perhaps we shouldn't be surprised about the tricks that might go on behind the scenes. The Washington Post with some great reporting that Meta, which is the parent company of Facebook, hired a Republican consulting firm to try and turn the public in the United States against TikTok. TikTok, of course, is the new kid on the block, exploding in popularity in the last couple of years, more popular than Facebook and Instagram, its photo sharing app, something Facebook is not happy about. The Washington Post getting access to some internal emails. Taylor Lorenz is with the Washington Post. She broke the story. Good to see you, Taylor. Thanks for coming on the show with us in Canada. Boy, I read your story. This is just uh, crazy, uh, you know, when you think about what uh, this firm was doing on behalf of Meta. It's absolutely wild and it's shocking to kind of see how successful they were too. Um, you know, seeing a lot of, you know, a, a lot of different companies can try with these dirty tactics to plant stories or op-eds and things like that that are negative about competitors. I mean, these kind of tactics are common in politics, um, but to see it play out and to see those op-eds and letters that are actually run um, is, is very shocking. Tell us a little bit about what they were actually doing uh, in order to try and, you know, uh, throw mud at TikTok and, and get people to turn against TikTok so they'd stop using it. Yeah, so exactly like you mentioned, you know, Facebook uh, launched this concerted effort to basically smear TikTok in local news. So they seeded uh, stories about dubious TikTok trends that actually began on Facebook. And then they orchestrated letters to the editor from, um, you know, people alleging to be concerned parents um, that were negative about TikTok and drafted in concert with Facebook, but they didn't say anything about Facebook's involvement when they ran. So it's very, insidious that I think it's kind of a disinformation campaign basically about their biggest competitor and, and trying in some cases again sort of covertly to cultivate local reporters into covering these stories no doubt by sending out you know alarmist press releases about how TikTok is a Chinese company and it's foreign owned and you know it's up to all sorts of no good in the United States there could be a national security risk and on and on it goes Exactly. It's really kind of terrifying. And, you know, some of these concerns that they're stoking are legitimate, right? I mean, we should question every tech company's data privacy, especially uh, given that TikTok is owned by um, a, a company based in China. But I think this is a way also of Facebook to avoid scrutiny of Facebook. You know, um, the American government has been interested in, you know, looking into antitrust like litigation against the company. Um, and, you know, of course, Facebook has big data privacy problems as well well um, and, and problems with misinformation. So I think they'd rather paint TikTok as the boogeyman um, rather than, you know, look internally or, or, you know, face accountability for their own missteps. And Taylor, for people who may not be familiar, just in, in the, the fierce rivalry that's going on, why target TikTok? TikTok is ascendant right now. Um, it has a level of cultural relevance that Facebook just does not have. You know, um, we've seen TikTok tar stars explode um, in popularity. Um, TikTok is reshaping entertainment, media, politics. Um, it's become people's go-to place for news and information. Um, all of these things, you know, were, were occupied by Facebook before, right? You know, Facebook played that role in a lot of people's lives. Um, and then TikTok also has relevance among young people that Facebook doesn't have. Facebook lost users um, for the first time ever recently, last quarter. So they're really in this kind of vulnerable position um, and they can't go ahead and just acquire new companies because of these concerns around antitrust. So um, I think they're just really on the defensive right now. Uh, and this Dirty Tricks campaign, any comment from Facebook on it, uh, Taylor? Yeah, well, I was shocked because when I reached out to Facebook, they um, they kind of defended the campaign. They said TikTok deserves scrutiny. Um, the comment is in my story, but um, I think we would all agree TikTok deserves scrutiny, but I'm not sure that this campaign is is the most effective way to scrutinize uh, TikTok. And I guess it runs the risk of backfiring now on Facebook as this story uh, gets more uh, traction, thanks to your reporting. Yeah, exactly. I think now Facebook looks like the bad guy. And that's kind of dumb because it makes TikTok look like the victim when TikTok is actually in a stronger position than Facebook. You know, it's on the up and up. It's the app that the kids use. So it's funny how that turned out. Facebook hiring a firm to target TikTok, Republican-linked PR firm. Uh, Taylor Lorenz, my guest, columnist of The Washington Post, with some great reporting on this story. Thanks so much. Great to have you with us in Canada, Taylor. Thank you for having me.